Hello, Mike Simmons here, and you're in the cigar area. Tonight, I'm going to be smoking the Gurkha War Pig. I don't smoke a lot of Gurkha cigars anymore. I used to years ago. Uh, but this is just my personal opinion. They released so many different cigars uh, I think a lot of their blends got convoluted and uh, in the past few years most of the Gurkhas that I tried were kind of muddy flavored and uh, just not pleasant I ended up uh, smoking most of them while I was cutting my grass or shoveling snow or doing some other mundane task or task where I was not paying much attention to the cigar but it was just a cigar uh, and that's a shame and w once again I, as I like to say this may just be me my taste buds not uh, busting on Gurkha in general uh, this is just a, a observation and an opinion from me however I do I really like the Gurkha Black Rose uh, there are a few uh, different Gurkha brands that I really do like and uh, this one I have not tried looking forward to it War Pig this is a 6 by 54 Toro with a Nicaraguan Maduro wrapper, a Connecticut broadleaf binder, and Honduran and Nicaraguan fillers, I believe. I did see one uh, site that was selling these that said Costa Rican filler. I had, did not find that out any of the others, though. Uh, all the rest of them that I found that actually sell the cigar say Honduran and Nicaraguan, so... There you go. Uh, that's a sort of a sweet smell. Sweet grassy smell. Uh, <laughs> Let loose the pigs of war. Apparently, war pigs were uh, wild boars that were used as attack weapons in the ancient wars of yesteryear. <laughs> Don't know how that worked out, but personally, I would not want to get gored by a pack of wild boars so cap's a little loose there it's a nice easy draw very firmly packed uh, has a visible seams it seems pretty tightly rolled. Uh, not many veins. Very light as far as the veins. Nice multi-colored chocolatey brown. Let's see, what, let's see what happens here. It's fired up. Get this thing going. I was having a dilemma of decision tonight as to what to smoke. So I it was between this warped La Hacienda and the Illusion 
Rothschild. So being indecisive, I took a picture of all three, put it on Instagram, asked for help, and my buddy Brian said, smoke the Gurkha. So I'm smoking the Gurkha. Thanks, Brian. At Briarville Tobacconist on Instagram. First puff. Leathery coffee. It's kind of creamy too. A creamy coffee, leather, and a mild to medium spice on the finish. I think this is a medium medium to full bodied cigar that's marketed as. Extremely easy draw, very light draw. Good flavorful smoke right off the bat. I have a feeling this was a good choice. Thanks, Brian. So I'm going to work into the first third. Gurkha War Pig. And uh, see what happens. Be back. Welcome back to the cigar area with the Gurkha War Pig. This is a pretty tasty cigar. Uh, it's got a practically perfect burn. Uh, a couple things I wanted to mention. The cap, this is a single cap. And when I clipped it, it tore. And I tried to keep it on there, but it kept coming off. So I took it off. It hasn't affected anything, though. The other thing is, this cigar has an extremely easy draw. And the thing is, it's got weight to it, and it seems to be really packed well. There's not a soft spot in it anywhere, but it it's drawing extremely easily. And it's not dry, it's been properly uh, stored in my humidor for a couple of months now, I think. Uh, so... I don't know, it just draws really easily. Flavors. Uh, we started off with leather and co creamy coffee. Some spice on the finish. Uh, the leather tapered off a bit. Uh, still hints of it now and then. Creamy coffee is is the uh, main flavor I'm getting. There's a, there's a cocoa sweetness to it. Spice is medium. Uh, it's almost, it's not quite a white pepper spice, it's almost a, a sweeter, like a baking spice type of finish to it. But very flavorful, perfect burn, easy draw, nice long lasting finish. So far so good. So I'm going to charge tusks first into the second portion and see if anything changes. I'll be back. Alrighty, back with the Gurkha War Pig. Well, into the second portion here. Uh, the burn got a little wavy there on me. Not too bad though. I'm going to take this band off at this point though. Because it's getting dangerously close as usual very cool band Kirk as usually do uh, flavors in the second portion this thing is crazy flavorful uh, still has that creamy coffee as the baseline the chocolatey 
cocoa sweetness still there the finish I was getting some medium spice there well it's fluctuating between a, a red pepper spicy spice and a, and a baking spice like a, a cinnamon it's a, uh, it's a sweet to a spicy back and forth and there's also uh, some hints of uh, a graham cracker in there really very very tasty uh, still has that nice easy draw there's no residue or anything even though I'd lost the cap it's holding together quite well uh, I'm really enjoying the hell out of this um, as I said I don't I don't buy a lot of Gurkhas anymore but I guess I'm you know open to uh, <laughs> Maybe giving some of the other blends a try again. It's just they have so many blends. And when you buy as many cigars as I do from online stores, uh, yeah, sometimes it gets a little mixed up. Uh, you get a five pack or, or a sampler pack of Gurkhas, you get all these different blends. And... Uh, you know, my luck with them has been that they haven't all been very tasty. It just seemed like it's between Gurkha and Rocky Patel, nobody puts out more different cigars. But the thing is with Rockies, for the most part, they're all really good. Um, Gurkhas, on the other hand, I just have not had the best luck with. But this one is... Uh, definitely quite pleasant <clears throat> as I said I like the black rose that's a uh, usually pr present in one of my humidors somewhere I usually bury one I have one humidor where I take one when I buy five packs I'll take one of uh, all my favorites and bury them in the bottom so when I run out of something or I'm looking for something different I can dig into the bottom of that humidor and find some good choices but, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised with this um, these range depending on whether you buy a box they're probably in the low Four dollar or low five dollar range, four dollars to five dollars by box, and about five dollars a five pack. What they are in a in a store, I, you know, by by the piece, I I don't know at this point, but uh, they're not that expensive. This is a good taste and smoke for about four or five bucks, and a Gurkha for four or five bucks is, you know. It's something you don't see very often, especially in a store. The stores have a tendency to uh, not uh, really drop the prices on them. They keep them up in that upper premium range of prices. So, but at any rate, quite tasty. I'm babbling on and on here. But I'm going to work my way into the third third here. Let's see if we get any other changes. Uh, as I said, the, the draw on this is really easy, but it's not it's not burning away to nothing so that it confirms that you know it is very well packed and it did have some weight to it just it just has a really easy draw so I'm gonna continue on and see what happens all right <coughs> back in the final third of the Gurkha war pig Toro man this was a tasty cigar uh, Definitely rethinking my attitude toward Gurkhas at this point. I am open to trying some different ones again. Uh, this was really tasty. Uh, burned well. 
It had a perfect burn most of the time, but a little wavy toward the end here, but not bad. Uh, ash, the ash held on for an uh, inch, a little less than an inch at a time. And though it had a really easy draw, it lasted pretty long. Um, Flavor-wise, stayed at a medium, medium to full most of the time. Uh, we had all those leather, creamy coffee. The creamy coffee has remained through the entire smoke, as has the chocolate. Uh, the spice in the second portion fluctuated between red pepper and a baking spice. In the third portion, it pretty much clung on to the red pepper end of the spectrum. Uh, spicy and uh, but sweet. Still sweet, spicy, but didn't have the, the cinnamony baking spice quality to it, just the red pepper. Uh, but not to the point where it's overpowering at any point. Very tasty, very well made, good burn, long lasting. Uh, 10 out of 10 in my book because it's, it's an not an expensive smoke and it tastes great and held together well even losing the cap right in the beginning had not a single problem with it so uh, if you're a Gurkha fan you haven't tried one of these definitely try one if uh, you know the Gurkha price tag scares you off this is a good choice, as is the Black Rose, very uh, inexpensive and very good cigars. So, Gurkha Black Rose, 10 out of 10. Damn enjoyable smoke. I really enjoyed the heck out of this. Made for a very pleasant evening. So, thanks for tuning in. I'm Mike Simmons, and this is the Cigar Area. Check out my other videos on YouTube and on my website, go on by, enter my contest, send me an email, send me a picture of your cigar face, I'll put it up on my website, and until next time, happy smoking. In this world for freedom